Hey everyone, I'm James George, and this is uh, Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to show you something with gradient meshes. So, uh, this came from the other day when I was working on something. Uh, this is just a general example, but um, I was working on a very complex object that was made up of multiple pieces and multiple gradient meshes. And I... Um, I wanted just the flat graphic, but I was having trouble getting it, and I, I was looking around for some sort of way to release the gradient mesh, and I couldn't find it. I, I was clicking on parts of the gradient mesh and trying to delete it, and you know, that's fine if you want to do that, but when you have um, like 30 little mini objects that make up a, a bigger design. They're all filled with gradient meshes and you just want uh, the basic silhouette of an object. Um, it just doesn't make sense to do it that way. Plus, it takes so much longer. So, I found a different way to do that. And I'm just going to complain a little bit here because I, I think it's very odd that there's no way to uh, like click on a shape and say, release gradient mesh or do something like that there's no there are no settings for this to to undo this so um, I actually found this out this is kinda cool if you just select an object and you go to object path offset path and you choose zero and I don't think miter matters but if you just do that and click OK, then what you get is the, the shape without the gradient mesh. And so you can just fill it and there's your, there's your solid without having to delete all these little mesh points in there. And that made me really excited because that saved me like 30 minutes because the objects were nested in clipping paths and I kept having to double click and I couldn't get to the original items and it was just a mess. But all, uh, all I did was go to object path offset path and set the value to zero. That's it. And you'll get that shape with no gradient mesh. Done. There it is. So you can do this for very complex objects or multiple shapes at one time. So if I take if I take this and I make a few copies and I select them all, I believe it will do this all at one time. It worked for uh, the object I was working on, so we'll see. Yep. There it is. There's all three of those those circles, and you can fill them. You can see that they're all there. So that works well, and it's quick and easy. Saves you a bunch of time and frustration trying to individually select these points. That's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.